Hello lovely human. Today's SMS, which is a seven minute soundbite, is about cleaning and also caring. And I put them together because for me they sort of go hand in hand. So let me explain what I'm talking about. <clears throat> when you clean something, when you really sort of take an item and transform it through the act of cleaning, it can feel therapeutic, it can almost be meditative. Now, maybe everyone doesn't agree with me, perhaps you're not the sort of person who really enjoys cleaning up a mess or, you know, having to um, to go around sort of making things look tidy or better. And I, I hear you. Uh, I'm not going to give you the impression that I'm the, the tidiest person in the world. In fact, there's a inside family joke when my kids were younger when uh, the house was suddenly spick and span and very tidy you know they say to me um, who's coming is there someone someone visiting us uh, and this was quite typical so if somebody was going to visit then I would run around you know and suddenly find this uh, zeal to do some cleaning that clearly had not been done for a while so um that being said, um, I do like my surroundings to be not unclean. Uh, they can sometimes be untidy, but generally there's a sort of a, a minimum level of cleanliness that I find um, essential to my feeling of well, well-being. Um, and they say, don't they, that cleanliness is godliness. Um, and that is true on many levels. Um, let me tell you the role that cleaning plays in my life and why I'm I'm sort of talking about this today. For me, um, I've noticed so when I'm going through a difficult time, say for example, if something's happened and I'm very um, sad about it or very sort of thoughtful about it, um, the act of cleaning, whether it's just cleaning the dishes, whether it's doing the laundry, whether it's uh, cleaning, you know, work surfaces around me, uh, just the act of doing that somehow restores me a little bit. Um, for me, the, the fact that this thing, this item, whatever it is that, that needed cleaning, was lying there completely unable to help itself, to clean itself, and by you coming in and you sort of putting in that little bit of extra attention and energy towards this item to restore it to its former level of cleanliness or glory, I almost feel the gratitude from that item to say thank you for caring for me, for, for, for doing something that I couldn't do for myself. And why do I sort of link that into caring? Because I think when we care for someone, it could, it could be an animal or it could be a person or it could be a baby that is defenseless and unable to care for themselves, keeping them clean and safe and happy and, and you know, with their sort of dignity restored through the act of cleanliness is hugely healing to them. Um, at some point in our lives, you know, unless we're extremely lucky, we may be that person who is, you know, defenseless and, and relying on other people to look after us. And I know for a fact that if you have somebody who does not go through those acts of caring and cleaning and all the rest of that, with a sense of compassion and grace, then it can be very uncomfortable, even humiliating. Um, and so for me, that's why when I clean, um, it is almost an act of reverence. It's, a, it's an act of uh, gratitude that I have the ability to do this for something or someone that is unable to and there's some feeling of um, joy at the end of the process when something looks 
sparkling clean or smells really fresh and and is restored to how it's meant to be. So one of the things I actually love is those little cleaning videos that uh, Facebook now knows exactly what I love. And so I get fed these on my newsfeed all the time. And there will ine inevitably be different companies that are selling, you know, different cleaning products. And for me, I don't know, I just, I just, I just love watching them. I think you see the, the almost, it's like magical with some of these products, you know, taking something from a state of being dirty, filthy, to suddenly being this, this almost transformative experience of turning into something very sparkly and clean. And of course, there's sort of the cyn cynical part of my brain and thankfully not too much cynicism in my brain. I'm generally quite an open and trusting person. But a part of me thinks, hmm, it's a video. They're trying to sell me something. Don't know if it's going to work as well. And so on the odd occasion where I have actually gone with my gut instinct and I've bought something and it's actually worked, it's magic. And so I've had that sort of day to day where I bought these products from a company that I have used before and they have proved trustworthy. And I've bought these eco-friendly products that actually work just like they said on the videos i'm so happy in fact after this video i'm going to go straight downstairs and i'm going to do some more cleaning and bring that element of therapeutic joy back into my life so i wish you a very very lovely weekend and i will be back again tomorrow with another sms in the meantime sending you my best wishes and lots of love and hoping you're having lots of clean fun Take care. Bye for now.